Hi, I'm Leah Mayos. I'm the project coordinator from the Drug Free Communities Grant for the Town of North Reading. I have a guest with me today, Joe Di Benedetto, here in Community Connections. Um, so we're going to be chatting about a few things. He's here interning. He's a graduate intern for the Board of Health, but he's actually been helping us with some projects for youth services. So welcome, Joe. Thanks, Leah. Um, so I'm just going to start out by asking you to, if you don't mind, to just tell us about your background a little bit. Yeah, great. I, um, I, I, wow. My background is mostly in biological science okay. and public health. Mm -hmm. I did my BS in uh, biology and mm -hmm. a minor in chemistry at Worcester State University, All right. uh, which kind of got me excited. And then right out of school, I took a job with this company called Next Step Living. Okay. They focused on... Uh, population health and outreach. Mm -hmm. so that's it was interesting. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it drove me to want to get a public health degree. So that's where I am now. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's interesting. Thanks. One path led you to another. So. Yeah. 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 It nice. all ties together. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I know, so I'm just looking at your resume when you did start with us, I know you have a bunch of certifications. So I'm assuming you put a lot of hard work and effort into those. Do you mind just telling us about a few that you do have? If you want to, a couple you want to talk about or? Sure. Uh, right now I work at, in a, as a research coordinator, so okay. my official title is Health Science Specialist okay. at the Bedford VA. Wow. Um, so in order to do research, there's a couple of different certifications I have to have. Mm -hmm. um, like the city program, mm -hmm. they have three different uh, certifications. Oh, one's wow. biomedical sciences, uh, the other one's social and behavioral science, mm -hmm. and the last one's good clinical practice. Wow, okay. So it just kind of keeps me in line and tells sure. me what I need to do. That's a range, too, of different things that you probably have to learn and... Get yeah. to know, so, okay. Do you know how many certifications you have all together? Right now, I think I have 11. Okay, yeah, yeah that's a lot. That's a good amount. Yeah. So it sounds like you're well-versed in many different topics, so. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's always a plus. I'm sure it'll help you from now and then in the future, so that's yeah. good. And it keeps me on my toes, so oh, I like I'm to learn sure. new things. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's awesome. And I also wanted to ask you about your interest in public health. I know you had just mentioned a job, first job that you had had, um, but are there any other things that you think about this growing up or did you just kind of fall into it through, you know, your undergrad degree and then that first job? And then I was also wondering uh, specifically, if, separate from that, if there was anything else that kind of drew you to the field. Yeah, when I was young, I always wanted to be a virologist. Okay. And I always wanted to work for the CDC. I just wanted to be that guy who saved the world from the deadly virus okay. or bacteria, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was cool. And mm -hmm. when I was at Worcester State, mm -hmm. I focused on biotechnology. All right. Um, so I learned a lot about it and I, I learned bet. really quickly it was not the uh -huh. case for me, okay. what I needed to do. <laughs> hey, it happens. I mean, I have respect for people who can sit behind a lab all sure. the bench all day, mm -hmm. but. But it's a great way to figure out what you don't or do want to do, right? Exactly, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it kind of drove me toward epidemiology. Okay. Uh, and epidemiology is it's pretty cool. I actually have the definition for you guys. Okay, that's so that great. Way, yeah. You know. We're all interested, I'm sure. Yep, so they're epidemiologists are public health professionals who investigate patterns and causes of disease and injury. Mm -hmm. So they're what they're doing is they're looking for negative outcomes in uh, different types of research, mm -hmm. community education, and mm -hmm. policy. That sounds interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah. And this experience as the intern has yeah. really kind of really captivated my interest and sure. showed me that this is the right path for me. Uh -huh. so, oh, that's nice. great. That's exciting. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so would you please share some of the projects that you've been working on for us through the Drug-Free Communities Grant, just some of the stuff um, you've accomplished so far? Yeah, completely. Um, so there's been three major projects I've been working on. Mm -hmm. uh, the Health and Safety Guide, an environmental scan. Okay. And then we did some community outreach. Yes. Yep. Uh, so the health and safety guide is more of a, a resource document. Mm -hmm. So that way residents in North Reading can mm -hmm. kind of use it as a reference guide, know what's available to them, and then know what other health issues are uh, sure. happening yep. for other residents. Mm -hmm. That's um, great. The okay. environmental scan, it was just to go to local businesses, mm -hmm. see how they were advertising alcohol, okay. and see what the impact was on students. Wow, so you probably got to know a lot of the stores and stuff nearby. Yeah, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, nice. I really got to learn the culture of North Reading okay. by doing that. And it was everybody was very friendly. Yes, yeah. sure. And, um, and then I know we had done some community tables together. Do you want to just briefly touch on that? or? Yeah, okay. uh, the idea behind that was just to make sure, again, that people yeah. had the resources and they knew about the youth coalition mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so that way 
we can prevent substance use. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And you were a huge help. So thank you again for doing that with us. Thank you. I learned a lot from you. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's yeah. a plus. Okay. And how has it been working for the community of North Reading? I know you just talked about some projects. Um, so did you, I guess, have you learned anything or have you found out anything interesting about the community that you didn't um, experience in your community or other ones you've been in? I, I, don't, I can't say much about my community because okay. I've never worked in this capacity. Sure. But uh, I, f I was really caught off guard with how well everybody collaborates. Okay, that's um, great. So like, for example, just the other day I was on the phone with Superintendent John Bernard. Yes, he's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was able to answer all my questions. Oh, and he perfect. was really proactive about getting uh -huh. me the answers I needed mm -hmm. to you know, get my assignments done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is so helpful. He's helped us with a lot of work too on our end. So, well, that's good to hear. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. Okay. And um, so I know this is, you're kind of concluding your inter internship soon with us. Mm -hmm. Do you have any future goals after graduate school or any upcoming goals that you want to share with us? Yeah, I mean, long term, I want to be an epidemiologist. Uh -huh. So I have a couple steps before I can do that. Sure. Um, but right now I'm looking at fellowship programs. Great. That's exciting. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. You're welcome. That, that's a lot of Hard work, I'm sure, but it will be, you know, a new step. So. Yeah, we'll okay. see who actually accepts me. Oh, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you have plenty of options. Thank you. So. Okay, well, that kind of concludes the questions that I have for you today. Is there anything else you wanted to add or just before we wrap up? Uh, no, no, I, I okay. think that's great. Yeah. Great, Thank okay, you. you're welcome. And again, I'm Leah from the town of North Reading Youth Services and again on the Drug Free Community Grant. And I just wanted to extend to the viewers that if you guys did need any resources or help or any interest in getting involved with the coalition or youth services, you can always give us a call. The number is 978-357. 5281 and we also have an email address if you'd like to reach out to us that way and it is coalition at northreadingma.gov so again i just wanted to say thank you to joe for being with us today um, thank you. and i hope you guys enjoyed thanks